I'm sorry. <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. Got me some of forgive me. <laughs> Yo, what is up everybody? I am Mama Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back to my channel with the free guy. I noticed a lot of you guys have been commenting asking, where are your story times? Why don't you do story times anymore? And for those who have not been following me for a while, I was very, very into the cosplay whatever you want to call it and i kind of went on a hiatus for a couple months just because cosplay is freaking expensive cons are expensive and you know what i just started freaking uni so my priorities had to go to somewhere else but there is this one story that i wanted to tell for so freaking long but i still talk to this person so i had to make sure i was like i'm gonna tell this story and finally he was like okay don't kill me I'm sorry if you see this, but you f***ing had it coming. So before we get the story started, disclaimer! I personally don't like or don't believe in exposing people or canceled culture. I understand sometimes to get a company to do what's right. I understand, spread the word. I understand sometimes it is needed to get a company for people to address an issue. However, in my opinion, sometimes it's unnecessary to put the whole baggage on the internet. If I have a problem with someone, the last thing I'm gonna do is go on Twitter. Yes, I'm gonna go on YouTube, but I'm not gonna identify them. I do not do these videos to hurt, expose, or cause drama shit for the people they are involved. I do these videos strictly for entertainment. And that is why I don't give the name of the people I do stories about. To me, it's usually a long time after and I can just sit and laugh about it now. This video is strictly for entertainment. Please don't try to figure out who this person is because you're not gonna find them. I don't want y'all trying to become little Detective Pikachus up in here trying to figure out who this guy is because you're not gonna find him. Because you're not gonna find him. This was years ago. It doesn't matter anymore. I don't care about it. He doesn't care about it. So please don't try to comment people you think it is. It doesn't matter. And I don't want other people's names involved when it does not involve them. And I digress. Let's get into it. So this story time took place at a certain convention where I was, let's make this a game, shall we? What was I doing at this convention? Was I A, selling anime titties, B, being walking trash, C, a potato, or D, booth babe, cosplay model, or whatever you want to call me? And correct, the answer is B. Uh, I mean, yes, I mean, yes, but no. D, I was working at this convention as a booth babe cosplay model, I don't, I don't know whatever you want to call it. My job was to stand there in cosplay for a company and make you buy things because of my personality. And without saying when or where or how, y'all ain't getting shit out of me. I was freaking loading my car, freaking getting everything loaded for the weekend to return to my motherland. That is anime conventions. And before you know it, Queen bitch yaoi ho thirst alert, I'm here. I got settled into my hotel room. Usually I come the day before and while the exhibitors are working setting up, I just meet them and I just get my exhibitioner badge cause bitch VIP. Unfortunately, the people I was working with didn't have my badge ready. Usually what they do is someone like meets me outside and then they give me my badge and say, here's your badge, and bye. But since they didn't have my badge, I was shit out of luck and I had to leave the convention, which was fine. I had errands to do. I had shiz I had to go by cause cosplay did my errands, went back to my hotel, did adjustments to my costume, and then went to bed. 7 a.m. waking up in the morning. I'm f***ing kidding. I wake up early because now I have to get up freaking early to go pick up my badge before I have to go to work. And the dealer's hall opens like at 10 a.m. And I have to be working inside already by 9.30 a.m. But now I don't have my freaking badge. So now I have to wake up earlier to meet them for them to come outside, give me my badge, they have to go inside, and then I get to go inside. And if you know me, at all. I f***ing hate the morning. It's fucking cold. I want to die. And I just want to go to bed and not freaking wake up. Got my ass up. Didn't get up as early as I wanted to, so I kind of was a little bit panicking. I didn't get ready yet. So I just asked them earlier in the morning, could I get my badge now, go back to my room and get ready, and then go to the convention? They're like, sure. So I get to the convention center. You know, it's already like kind of open. The main entrance of the convention center, the stairs, the halls, all that's open. You just can't go inside. People were hanging out over there. I get inside the convention. Hall. I'm freaking going up the escalators trying to get to the dealer's hall and I see on the corner of my f***ing eye Now let me tell you something um, before we get ahead of ourselves y'all know I'm a freaking Yaoi ho thirst piece of trash I'm a Yaoi ho I'm a freaking food Joshi game addict and you know what makes my f***ing fangirl meter f***ing skyrocket? Cosplayers 
And you know, I don't really care. Cosplay whoever the fuck you want. Whether body type, race, you're a dog, I don't fucking care. Cosplay whoever you want, it doesn't matter to me. But on the corner of my fucking eye, I see a beautiful, I'm fucking trashy, a perfect, you already know who it is, very attractive right out of the fucking video game. Don't you judge me. Don't fucking judge me, Shannon. Sorry if you're new to Shannon. Alito Sakamaki from Diabolic Lovers Cosplayer. I'm so trash for these games. And I'm a fucking thirst magnet. And I admit, I was checking them out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I saw candy, I wanted it, I looked, okay? You know, I'm not creepy, you know, I'm not gonna go up and like sexually harass, you know, cosplay is consent, okay? But that does not mean I'm not gonna look at you. <clears throat> See, that's where I'm like weird, like let me know if you're like this too. But I'm like socially awkward, even though I see you looking fine as F. I'm not gonna go anywhere near you. Maybe a normal person would go up to them and be like, oh, I like your cosplay, um, can I get a picture? are you on for? Uh, can I get a picture? I'm like, no, no, stay away from me. So I'm just hanging around outside the dealer's hall. Just got on the phone with my standby person who's gonna come out and give me my badge. And I was still looking at him because he was beautiful. And as if my social anxiety could not have gotten any worse while mid checking him out with my thirst machine eyeballs, all hell is coming for me. He turns and makes full eye contact with me. Uh, I wanna fucking die. Damn it, I wish I looked like an asshole and wore my sunglasses today. I just turned and grabbed my phone and like was pretending to have a conversation with like who knows what. I wasn't staring at you, totally checking you out on being a thirsty hoe back. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pretend to be on my phone and pretend I was not looking at you. But you saw me looking at you so you know that. I look up from my phone and I see he's still looking at me. And you know what he did? You know what this did? He winked at me. Oh, hold up, time out, yo, time out. I literally just panicked and like dipped to the nearest bathroom I saw. I just hide in the bathroom. My on-site person calls me and is like, hey, we're here, we're here to give you your f***ing bed, where are you? I run out of the bathroom just trying to avoid the cosplay guy. Oh God, I just need my bed, and then I can get the f*** out of here. I get my badge, I run back to my hotel and I get ready for work. And after finishing trying not to have a f***ing panic attack, get into the convention center and start my shift. It's been a couple hours, you know, I'm just standing there being nah. I turn around, I'm fixing the display that our booth had. Someone bought one of the products, so I'm just trying to like fix it up, you know, make it look nice and pretty. You know, turning my back against the freaking crowd of weebs. And I shit you not, I freaking hear behind my head. Hey, bitch -chan. You do not know what Diabolic Lovers is. This character, Lido, he's a freaking perverted fuckboy, and that's all you need to know. The main girl, he always calls her Beach Jen, little bitch, whatever you want to fucking call it. And I was like, dear lord, have mercy, give me strength. I put my head back so freaking quick, and I am face to face with the Lido cosplayer. I want to fucking die! And he's just leaning against the table that I was just setting up, being the boy his character is with his hand on his chin leaning on the table with that fing shit eating smirk on his face you know i'm on the clock i'm freaking working so i just have to like compose myself and just go um hi hi would you like some free samples he just fing giggles <laughs> laughs chuckling if you will i would love a free sample of your blood beach jack boy hold your horses jesus christ my face just looks like a freaking tomato. We all know I'm a thirsty hoe, but I am all talk, okay? Even if I do like you, even if I do have a little crush on you, I'm not gonna tell you, cause I'm freaking shy and a little nerdy with dashes of insecurity. And you know, I'm a freaking wimp, okay? I get embarrassed, like, about everything. And it kinda comes with the territory of being like a booth babe, whether I'm working at a convention, car show, food festival. I don't know why to some guys it's like, I'm here, and even though I'm here doing my job, apparently it means feel free to hit on me. And you know, I'm still on the clock, I'm still working, so I'm just like, haha, sorry, um, but you can have a freebie instead, giving him one of the freebies that we have that I'm supposed to give out. Freaking let's use this yokai watch cup. Pretend this is the freebie. I hand him the freebie and he like intentionally makes full contact with my hand and makes it.
boy! And I'm like, yo! And he just smiles and walks off. And I'm just freaking hyperventilating behind the freaking table being comedy, so I'm like, I can't do this no more! I, I know it's like part of my job, but you know, it's like that intimate. I get freaking nervous, okay? I can't tell if someone's hitting on me. I can't tell if someone's just being nice. Most of the time, I don't want to be an asshole, and if you're hitting on me, I'll just be nice and try to like dodge it and hope it kind of just goes away. <laughs> Bad, bad advice, I know. And also, like, we're at a convention, and he's cosplaying. I don't know if he's just deep in character and is just playing this boy role to a key. I don't freaking know, fam. I finished my shift for day one, and I have not seen this dude for the rest of the day. So I meet up with some friends that I'm rooming with at the convention. I hang out, enjoy the con, and now it's day two of the convention. Saturday, the biggest day of every con, at least I think, I don't know. Day two of the dealer's hall. When those doors open, prepare for war, bitches! Battle stations! I don't you know. I was walking into the convention center and I see the Lecto cosplayer. He's standing in line, you know, waiting for the dealer's hall to open. So I'm like, okay, casual. But he was like in casual. Like he was like casual life, which I'm not mad at a good casual cosplay. Not at all, homie. But you know, I could still tell it was him. And I just booked it to the convention center. Day two is done. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Used up all my gems of social interaction for the year. When I work for companies, I work the entirety of the convention. From the time the dealer's hall opens to it closes every freaking day. My boss lady graciously let me off early so I can freaking peruse the dealer's hall. Perhaps buy a body pillow. I don't know. I need a body pillow still. I can't decide, y'all. There's so many options. I go behind the booth and I'm getting my stuff, putting my jacket over me. I'm freaking over. I just take my wig off right there. Wigs are flying. I'm taking off my wig. I'm head it for the day. I've had it. Take it off, shove it in my bag, and I feel a piece of my hair lift up and twirl in someone's <laughs> fingers. I can't make this shit up, dude. I turn around, and the freaking horn dog himself is in front of my face, and he goes, you're on me, right? I freak out, you know? I'm like, I'm not used to people knowing anything about my stuff. Like, to me, I'm still a nobody, and I prefer to be a nobody. I'm being polite back. I'm, we're actually introducing ourselves. I'm asking his name, you know, making small talk. And let me remind you, I don't assume every guy is hitting on me. I don't assume just because you're nice to me that you want to date me. And he actually gives me a flyer to a party. Whether it's with a brand like Senpai Squad or Fuck Who, or in general, the convention holds raves. And, you know, I'm trying be funny. I'm like, uh, where weaves get drunk and dance on each other. Yeah, sounds fun. <laughs> Occasionally, I do go to these parties, but I don't dance. And for those who don't know, I don't drink. I don't smoke at all. I'm, I'm clean. <laughs> so I literally just sit there and I record for Snapchat. Or I was asked by the people who are running it if I could go. And Lighto was telling me, one of my friends are the DJs. If you aren't too tired from working tonight, you should go. I'll bring some friends. And I'm like, I'll think about it, ho! <laughs> yeah, but I'm like, oh, maybe. And then he gets like this close to my face. And he just goes, you better. I'm sorry, but is that a freaking threat, mate? And of course, because I'm the only weird antisocial one that even at conventions, I still can't freaking crawl out of my little cocoon. A lot of my other friends were already planning on going. So freaking designated driver, designated, make sure no one fucking dies person of this party. Be responsible, guys. I don't drink. I don't care if you do. But people do crazy shit under the influence. So just be safe, okay? PSA over. I put on some normal clothes. And when I mean normal clothes, I mean my uniform Adidas that I wear all the time. It's the only way I could wear sweatpants and then my mom say I don't look homeless. We leave the hotel. I bring my wallet, my phone, my Vita, and a portable charger. I'm ready for the night. We enter the party. My friends fall into the abyss of vape and anime nightcore. And I'm just sitting there at the corner recording shit for Instagram. Sit and enjoy the music. I actually love a lot of the DJs that go to these conventions. And don't get it twisted. My friends aren't bad people for forcing me to go. For me, sitting there and just people watching and observing, to me, that's all the fun I need. I'm enjoying myself. And I'm sitting at the table. Like, there's, like, cushiony wall. And, you know, I'm sitting here and there's, like, a table over here sitting just playing on my freaking Vita. I just feel a presence like right over there and I'm like who is disturbing my <laughs> Who is disturbing my alone time? Guess who the f*** it is? Lito. The Lito cosplayer. He pulls up a chair and sits in front of me and he was like 
really nice. He was talking about Diabolic Lovers. We were talking about the game, our thoughts of the anime, if there will ever be a season three. We actually had a nice time together. Just sitting, sitting back, watching all the famous cosplayers get shit-faced. And while the freaking crazy lights, the freaking light beams are freaking fading my vision, I get pulled up out of my chair, Lytho is standing right in front of me, and he goes, Let's dance. And I'm just like, ah, no, 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 um, no, 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 no. I don't dance, not at school dances, not at prom, not at my quinceanera, no. I don't dance, okay? I, it's, it's fine, I'm, I'll just stay here, I'm, you can go, it's, it's fine, like, don't worry about me. And then he, like, pulls me, like, through the crowd. My friends were, like, a little bit over that way, and his friends were, like, over here on this side. And then his friends were like, yeah, I'm like, what? He gets me closer to where my friends are, and then he gets closer to me while we're on the dance floor, and then he goes, Don't worry, I don't bite much. <laughs> you fing devil. I awkwardly dance because I don't know how to fing dance. Then all of a sudden, he turns around. I'm not even kidding you. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. And he just starts grinding on me. Oh, freaking Lord, have mercy on my soul. I freaked out, you know, like, I'm like, ugh. I don't go clubbing, I don't dance, I'm, I know I talk so much shit, but I'm probably the most vanilla person in the world, okay? I have not gone past freaking entering the dugout when it comes to the baseball team. He freaking goes back, he's like, oh, uh, I'm sorry. That's why I'm not gonna shit on him, because he saw it made me uncomfortable, and he quickly retracted and apologized. He walked me back to the table where I was previously at freaking loud that we had to be like this close to the whole time so I like wanted to die. Then he started asking about like dating and dating history and I'm like excuse you and he was telling me about his history and I'm just like you light the inside and out aren't you ho? No slut shame here. And then he was telling me what got him going, what kind of girls he likes. Uh huh yeah cool. <laughs> I was just red as a freaking like redder than this freaking cup and I could just tell that on his face he was just fucking smirking. He loved the fact that he was making me nervous and uncomfortable. Like this dude was living for my reactions. Embarrassing me like the freaking sadist light boys. Maybe a little liquid courage got him into this, but you know, it wasn't like hammer drunk or anything. And then he wanted to know about mine and I was telling him, uh, I, I really don't date, you know, I don't really have an interest in dating right now. And then he puts his finger under my chin and says, I can change that. Why? Like this isn't the first time someone has told me that. But after he said that, I was just radio silent. I'm just like freaking giggling like an idiot because I'm nervous and I don't know what else to do. And he was like slightly intoxicated, so I was, so I'm like, uh, I don't, I don't you know if he's serious. I don't, I, I just met you, dude. And after that intimacy, I see my group of friends start coming this way. And they're like, hey, what are you guys doing? Ah! We're just chatting. One of my guy friends, thank you, boy. He freaking notices my flusteredness and was like even puffing his chest a little bit at him. Everything okay here? I'm trying to intimidate this dude. And he was like, we're all good. We're just talking. And then he got up and went with his friend group. And then my other friend went up to me. She's like, are you really okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. He's like, if he did anything, I'm gonna fuck him up. Like, it, it's fine, don't worry. It's fine. He was just in my bubble. It's not that big of a deal. The party was done. Everyone was leaving. Other people were still hanging out outside the venue. A couple of my friends actually knew a couple of his friends. Lytho saw me. Our group started merging. And then he's drunk freaking on me. You're leaving. <laughs> and he's like, can I get a hug? Yeah, he freaking hugs me and kisses my cheek. Before you freak out, do not freak out, okay? My Fanime Con story time, a girl freaking kissed me. No one cared about that. And then he was like kissing everyone on the cheek being, bye! It was, it was like, it was actually, it was like kind of a little bit cute, it was a little cute. And then it was Sunday, last day of the con. I go down to the lobby. I'm preparing to get all my shit to go back to my hotel and then get out. And then I feel a tap on my shoulder. And who was it, you may ask? The Lito cosplayer. Except he wasn't in normal. Like he wasn't in cosplay. He sat there, we chatted, and then he said he was gonna go back to wherever state he was from. And that is it for this Lito cosplayer story time. And like I said, I don't do these videos for people to go exposing 
or any of that shit. So don't worry about it. This is for entertainment. And um, that is it. My battery's dying. And before we go, we got a showstopper to announce. This week's showstopper is Cadence.diacon. I'm terribly sorry if I butchered that. Thank you so much, love, for all your love and support. It means the world to me. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Let me know what you think of the story. Has anything like this happened to you where someone was a little too in character? Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my weeb family. I love you very much, and I will see you next time. Bye.